Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some PC replay baseball, 1960 Ted Williams alternate replay, Red Sox versus the Senators, May 27th, 1960. As played rosters, 1960 Teddy Ball Games last season. We are going to play it my way, making all the decisions with the as played rosters. What does that mean? I make the lineups. I choose the pitchers. Let's play ball. Red Sox are one game under 500 here on May 27th. Um, 14 and 15. We're taking on the Washington Senators, who are 12 and 19. Tom Brewer is a surprising 2 and 1. He stinks. For the Senators, of will be Camilo... Uh, Camilio Pascal. And let's click play. We're going to stick with Tom Brewer. I usually stick with the starting pitchers. So we'll stick with Tom Brewer. Facing Camilio Pascal. Keo Runnels, Geiger, Wirtz, Stevens, Malzone, Budin, Sullivan, Brewer. Okay, so right away what I'm going to do is we're going to put Gary Geiger in center. So let's unclick this. Gary Geiger is going to go in center. Keo is going to go in right. And left field, left field, we're going to play Ted Williams. I don't always do this, but since we're streaming, we're going to put in Ted Williams. Why not? It's my, it's our replay, right? My replay. And he's available, so we're going to play Ted Williams. Okay. I'm going to go Runnels to lead off. Geiger to bat second. Williams to bat third. Vic Wirtz is having a hell of a year for us. He's the cleanup hitter at first. Frank Malzone will bat fifth. Keo will bat sixth. Don Budin at short will bat seventh. Haywood Sullivan will do the catching and most likely strike out or ground out. Tom Brewer will be the pitcher. Let's play ball. So the PC replay engine will take care of the Washington Senators. We're on a two-game win streak. The Senators are on a four-game losing streak. We beat the Senators in the prior game. We've been using a lot of Mike Fornellis and Tom Sturdivant out of the pen to get some really good uh, bullpen work. So once again, for the Red Sox, Reynolds at second, Geiger in center, Williams in left, Wirtz at first, Malzone at third, Keough in right, Budin at short, Sullivan does the catching, Tom Brewer bats ninth, and will be up on the bump. Jim L is here. In Washington, how you doing at Griffin Stadium? Hope all is well with Jim L. For the Senators, Billy Gardner at second, Bob Allenson in right field, Hammond, I'm sorry, Hammering Harmon Killebrew at third base, Jim Lemon in left, Julio Becure at first base, I don't think I pronounced his name right, Dan Dobek in center, Hal Nar Naragon. Does the catching. Billy Consolo, shortstop. Camilio Pasqual pitches and bats ninth. To Griffith Stadium we go. The lower the number in the infield for range, the better. That would be the three. In the outfield, you want a higher range number. So four would be the best out of the, their outfielders. Narragon behind the plate, three range. Four arm, 22 error. Pasquale, three range, 66 error. That's very good. He can't make an error, in other words. At first, Bicure, three range, 35. Gardner's a three range, 44 at second. Consolo, a four range, 21 at short. Killebrew, error. Is a 12. Most likely, if he gets an error check, he's going to boot it. Uh, Killebrew is a 312. In left field, Lemon is a 2 3 
arm, 13 error. That's not bueno, but he's in there for his bat. Again, in the outfield, you want the higher range number. Dobek in center, 3 range, 4 arm, 22 error. Man, they make a lot of, a lot of errors, it seems. Allenson in right, 4 range, 4 arm, 12 error. So it'll be Reynolds, Geiger, and Williams, all lefties, to face the right-handing hurler, Camilo Pasquale. Pasquale's ready. The pitch to Pete Reynolds. Reynolds batting 321 with 11 ribbies. Reynolds will swing the stick. Allenson has pretty good range in right. Let's see if we can get it by him. Allenson on the move. We need a 5-6. Allenson makes the running catch towards the line. One down. Nice play by Bob Allenson. Stepping to the plate. Left hand batting center fielder Gary Geiger. 253 with nine ribbies. Narragon sets the target. The pitch to Geiger. Geiger goes down looking. Two quick outs for Camilio Pasquale. Two outs, base is empty for Ted Williams. The pitch to Teddy Ball game. Line drive towards right. It's going to get down. It's a single. Williams gets his average up to 308 now. 15 ribbies. Williams at first. Two outs for Vic Wirtz. Vic Wirtz has been tremendous. 312 batting average. 26 ribbies, 7 homers. The pitch to Wirtz. He's going to pop up here. A shallow fly ball to left. Lemons there. He makes the catch. Side retired. Bottom of the first. For the Senators, Gardner, Allenson, Killebrew. If anyone gets on, Lemon. On the mound, Tom Brewer. Brewer 2-1 in, in the replay. Behind the plate, Sullivan's a 3-range, 6-arm, 46-error. Pretty good defensive catcher. Wirtz at first, range not bueno. He's a 4-range, 33-error. Reynolds, 2-range, 55-error at second. Budin makes a lot of errors at short for us. And his range, not good. 4-range, 26-error. Malzone, 3-range, 14-error. Not bueno at all. King Twang Gaming. I, I did see your comment. He said, he says, Hi, Al. Is it possible to make an Excel helper for Red, White, and Blue Racing? Absolutely. I just don't play Red, White, and Blue Racing, so I don't know how to make an Excel helper. I don't have that game. All you have, I, I have to look to see. I've seen it played, King Twang Gaming, and check out that channel. But I, I don't play it, so I don't know how to make the helper. And it's not really a helper. It's more of a visual. I guess it's, I, I wouldn't call it a helper. Because when I do that for the baseball game, for History Maker Baseball, I use it as a visual um, to show off the game better. And I use ball roller. I wouldn't really call it a helper. But I'll look into it to see if I can make something. If it's halfway decent, I'll, I'll send it to you. And again, it's not a helper. I, I'm still playing the game. I'm still reading the cards for that. And again, I don't play red, white, and blue racing. So, But hope all is well. Happy New Year to everybody. Williams in left field, two range, three arm, 61 error. Geiger in center, three range, three error, uh, three arm, 65 error. Keo in right, three range, three arm, 66 error. Here's Billy Gardner. Gardner batting 234, eight ribbies. Brewer, the right handed hurler on the mound, deals to Gardner. That's a ground ball to Reynolds. He'll flip to Wirtz, one down. Bob Allenson strides to the plate. Right hand batting right fielder. 305, 13 ribbies, three home runs. Yeah, King Twan Gaming. I'll look. I, what I did with the History Maker Baseball was I used Al Wilson's uh, downloads. And I just kind of did a snippet. That's how I make it. Because I was going to reply back to you once I looked up how to do one. Um, I've seen a layout before. And I do enjoy watching the game and listening to it. It's a wonderful game, Red, White, and Blue Racing. Smelly Wrestling Geek, how you doing? He says, Happy New Year, Al, in the chat. Happy New Year to you, my friend. Here's Bob Allenson. One out, no one on. The pitch to Bobby Allenson from Tom Brewer. That's a pop-up. Right side, Reynolds has it. Two down, so Reynolds has been a busy beaver in the bottom of the first. Base is empty for Harmon. Killebrew, Killebrew, 274, 12 ribbies, 6 home runs. 
Stay away from that six column. It's another ground ball right side. Runnels to Wirtz. Side retired. Good job by Tommy Brewer. Kept the first three Senator batters off balance. We go to the top of the second. No score here at Griffith Stadium. Malzone, Keo Budin for the Boston Red Sox. Frank Malzone, 293, 22 home runs. Pasquale to Malzone. Malzone sends that ball deep to right. Allenson on the move at the wall. Makes the grab. One down. Here's a left-hand batting right fielder, Marty Keo. Keo 218 with five ribbies, no homers. Keo awaits the Pasquale offering. Narragon sets the target to pitch to Keo. Keo sends it out to center. Dobek on the move. Will he make the rest? Is doing the disconnect reconnect thing on me again because it's OBS. We might have to get some new streaming software. The pitch to Budin. One out, one on. Center is playing for two in the infield. Oh, Budin's going to get a base hit here. Come on, home run. We need a 1-2 for a 2-0 lead. Budin singles. So he rips a line drive to center. Keo hits second and holds. Bernard Stroms joined us. Hope all is well. Beautiful setup you have for that basketball game. That was a nice photo you put in the Digital Dice Facebook group page. <clears throat> Excuse me. SGG Basketball, which can be purchased on uh, sidelinestrategies.com. It's uh, a Joe Bryant game, maker of payoff pitch. Also, Glory Days Boxing can be purchased there. One of the finest tabletop sports game, period. Glory Days Boxing, brought to you by a good friend, Anthony Crooks. One out, two on for Haywood Sullivan. Brewer on deck. The pitch to Sullivan. Sullivan will bang into a double play, it looks like here. Gardner. Yep. Gardner, Consolo, Bequare. 4-6-3. Go to the bottom of the second. No score here at Griffith Stadium. For the Senators, it will be Lemon, Bequare, Dobek. If anyone gets on, the catcher, Narragon. Sullivan sets the target, the pitch to Jim Lemon. Lemon's killed us this year. He's batting 299 with 30 ribbies. It feels like all 30 ribbies have been against the Red Sox. He has 10 homers. Brewer deals to Lemon. Gets the three column. Possible hit here. That ball. We need a 1-2. One, 1-2 two. One, two to left. Yes! Ted Williams makes the running catch. Teddy ball game. Robbing Lemon of a base hit. Who says he can't field the ball? Nice play by a now girthy, splendid splinter. One out. Julio Becure steps to play. 213 with three ribbies. The pitch to Julio. Shallow fly ball to left. Williams trots in, squeezes it. Two down. The Red Sox shortstop is pronounced Budden. Thank you. Bernard Strong. But in. Two outs, base is empty. For Washington. Dan Dobek steps to the plate. Dobek, 267, 10 ribbies, two home runs. Brewer looking for another 1 2 3 inning. The pitch to Dobek. Line shot to Williams in left. He makes all three plays. Side retired. Top of the third. Ted Williams comes jogging in with a a little bit of smile on his face. For the Red Sox, it will be Brewer, then the top of the order, Runnels, and then Gary, the Geiger counter, Geiger. Tom Brewer batting zilch. The pitch to Tommy Brewer. Swing and a miss, bat about it. Pasquale overpowered his counterpart. One down for the Red Sox. Top of the order, Pete Runnels. Flew out to right, 0 for 1. Reynolds digs in the left-hander's batter's box. Pasquale picks up the sign from Narragon. Pitch homeward bound. Pete Reynolds will swing the stick. Grounds it to Killebrew at third. Across the diamond to first. Two-way. Base is empty for Gary Geiger, the Geiger counter. Geiger had nine home runs in reality in 1960. Two on the year so far. The pitch to Geiger. 
Geiger chops it to short. Consolo throws to first side retired. We go to the bottom of the third. We got a pitcher's duel here in Washington. No score. Due up for the Senators. Bottom third of the order. Narragon, Consolo, Pasqual. Hal Narragon. He has not had a hit all year. He does have a ribby, though. Brewer does not want to give up the hit to Narragon. Brewer nods his head. He rocks and deals to Hal. Narragon swings the stick, sends it out to Marty Keo Keo on the move. And he makes the catch to right center. Keo had an excellent jump. Saw the ball well off the bat of Narragon. One out for Billy Consolo. Consolo batting 193, a homer, and six ribbies. Brewer takes a deep breath. The leg kick and delivery to Consolo. Consolo chops it to Brewer. Brewer underhands it to Wirtz. Two down. Brewer was moving towards first. Base is empty for Camilio Pasquale. Brewer deals, to, uh, deals quickly to Pasquale. Fly ball, center field, Geiger coming in, he squeezes it. We're through three here in Washington, no score. Top of the fourth for the Red Sox, Ted Williams, Vic Wirtz, Frank Malzone. You're talking a plethora of RBIs there. Ted Williams singled his first time up. Pasquale to Teddy Ballgate. Williams got under that one. He missed the breaking pitch. Flies out to shallow left and lemon. One down. Oh, Ted Ball Teddy Ball game does not like that swing at all. Vic Wirtz steps to the plate, flew out to Lemon. 0 for 1. Wirtz. 26 ribbies, 7 home runs so far. The pitch to Wirtz. Wirtz sends that ball deep, 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 deep to left. Lemon on the move at the track. Makes the catch in front of the wall. Two away for Boston. That'll bring up right-hand batting third baseman for the Red Sox, Frank Malzone. Malzone has 22 ribbies on the year with six bippity-boppity-booms. The pitch to Frank. Malzone chops it to Consolo at short. Throws to Picure. Side retired. Three up, three down for Boston. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Scoreless in Washington, the nation's capital. For the Senators, top of the order. Gardner, Allenson, Killebrew to face Tom Brewer. Brewer 2-1 and one in our replay. Billy Gardner 0-1. for one. The pitch to Billy. Billy chops it right side. Reynolds to his left. Pivots, fires to Wirtz. Another Senator retired. Bernard Strom says he loves this Red Sox team. This was the first year I went to Fenway. I was nine. Awesome sauce. That's what that's what sports is all about. The memories. The enjoyment. Thank you for sharing that, Bernard. One out for Bob Allenson. Allenson popped out to Reynolds at second. Sullivan wiggles the finger, sets the target, the pitch to Bob Allenson. Allenson grounds it to Budin, who's an error machine. We have to stay under a 26. Oh, God. And we don't. That could be a two-base error. Nope. Budin holds on. Uh, Budden, excuse me. Budden holds on to the ball. As Bernard Strom has given me the proper pronunciation. Budden. He's an error machine at short. We don't have a better shortstop. Pumpsy Green's not much better. So that should be two outs. Base is empty. Instead, one out. Allenson at first for the dangerous Harmon Killebrew. The pitch to Killebrew. Red Sox looking for two. That's a ground ball to Budden. Can we turn two here? Possible double play. Reynolds, the pivot man. Come on, double play. Yes! What a pivot by Reynolds. He leaps over the on-charging uh, base runner. So it goes boot, uh, Budden, Reynolds, Wirtz. Side retired. We go to the top of the fifth. No score here in Washington. Bernard Strom says, sat in the bleachers. Ticket was 75 cents. That's awesome. For the Red Sox, Marty Keough, Don Budden, Haywood Sullivan. Pasquale to Marty Keough, who singled in his first at-bat. Keough works a walk. Red Sox have a base runner. Budden at the plate. We're going to play hit and run with Budden. I like to do that. 
Oh boy. Pitch out. We're in deep poop. <laughs> Though Keo's a uh, Keo's a four, but it's catcher's defense. We need a four or higher. Yes. Failed hit and run, but Keo steals second. All right. Now we might mix it up. We're gonna go sack here. Though he's a three bunter. He's a three bunter. Sullivan stinks, but if we get the guy to third, he can at least chop the ball somewhere. We're, we're going to swing the stick. Uh, he hits the ball to the right side. It's as good as a bunt. Julio Bicure fields it, takes it to the bag himself. Keo to third. Good piece of professional hitting by Don Budden. Bernard Strom says both Keo and Sullivan, kids that had kids that played Major League Baseball. Uh, Sullivan's son was a catcher for the Red Sox, I do believe, in the 80s. So Keo at third. Yep, Sullivan did become part of the ownership group of the Red Sox. You're correct, Bernard Strom. David Selinski's here. How you doing, my friend? Hope all is well. Happy New Year again. Infield playing in in this pitcher's duel for the Senators. They've pulled the infielders to the grass. Haywood Sullivan. This is where I pinch hit. I have another catcher. Uh, Bob Thompson has been pretty good for me. You know what? We're going to stick with Haywood Sullivan. I'm sensing he's going to chop it through the infield. Keo takes his lead from third. The pitch to Haywood Sullivan. And he strikes out. I was absolutely wrong. Swing and a miss. Could not help out the cause. Two outs. Tom Brewer needs to get something through here. Infield back to normal for the centers. Keo at third. 90 feet away. Grounder back to Pasquale. He throws to first side. Retired. They strand Keo. I thought about pinch hitting for Sullivan. I've done it before, but I don't know if I'm going to regret that. You got to score runs when you can with this Red Sox team. Bottom of the fifth, still scoreless. For the Senators, Lemon, Bicure, Dobek. Lemon. 0 for 1. Flew out to Williams. Brewer nods his head. Sullivan sets the target. The pitch to Jim Lemon. Shallow fly out to Geiger in center. Brewer really working the ball in, up, out, down. Changing speeds. Keeping these Senators batters off balance. One away. Bottom of the fifth for Julio Bicure. The pitch to Bicure. Grounds to Brewer. Flips to Wirtz. Two away. Two away. Dave Gardner's joined us. Check out the new digital dice just dropped. Listen to some of it. We'll listen to the rest of it tomorrow. He had Uncle Ron's back from assignment. It's good to hear that. And they have a wonderful guest, Steve Tate, as King Tuong Gaming says, Hi, Dave. Three Daves now. Also, Dave Gardner just put up uh, prior to this a, a baseball stream. So check that out. Two outs, base is empty for Dan Dobek. The pitch to Dobek. Oh, that's going to break up the no-hitter. It could be a bippity-boppity-boom. We need a one. That ball is high. That ball is deep. That ball is gone. Dobek sends it out to right center. What a bomb that was. Breaks up the no-hitter. The shutout. The Senators take a 1-0 lead with a bippity-boppity boom to the moon by Danny Dobek. He really clouded the crap out of that ball. 1-0 Washington. Brewer hung a breaking pitch, and boy did he pay. That's a third home run for Dobek on the season. Brewer has to regroup. Sullivan has a word with him. Back behind the plate, the pitch to the counterpart of Sullivan. Senators catcher Hal Narragon. Narragon pops it up. Left side. Malzone calls for it. Side retired. The Senators finally get a hit. It's a home run by Dobek. 
one nothing Senators. We go to the top of the six, top of the order for the Red Sox. Runnels, Geiger, Williams, if anyone gets on, Vic Wirtz. I don't think it's the same Bobby, because that's Thompson. This is Tom Son. No P in this one. I'll show you. Hold on a second. See, it's Bobby T O, I'm sorry, T H O M S O N. Yep. Bobby Tom Son, not Pump Son. I thought the same thing the first time I played this season on um, Out of the Ballpark. Runnels, 0 for 2, fly out on the ground out. Pasquale to Runnels. Ronalds. Oh, he gets caught looking on the breaking pitch. One out. Pasquale's now struck out four, walked one. The pitch to Gary Geiger, another lefty back. Oh, Geiger, come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. Can Gary Geiger tie it? No, it's going to be a single. No possible home run here. So Geiger sits back on the breaking pitch, lines it to left, Lemon fields it, throws it in. Tying run at first for Teddy Ball game. Come on, Ted Williams. The pitch to Williams. Williams hits it to the right side. Possible double play. Consolo, pivot. No! Williams beats it out, running hard down the line. A good rough slide by Geiger. Consolo could not get much on that throw. Inning stays alive for Vic Wirtz. Can he make it hurts? Williams at first, slow-footed runner. Pasquale peeks to first, looks in at Narragon. He's ready. The pitch to Wirtz. Swing and a miss. A mighty swing with no contact. The Red Sox are gone in the top of the six. We go to the bottom of the six. one nothing Washington. Brewer will face Consolo, Pasquale, Gardner. Consolo, 0 for 1, ground out to Brewer. Sullivan sets up inside, the pitch from Brewer. Too far inside with that one, ball four. Red Sox bullpen gets active. Uh, we're going to play our corners in. I think they're going to bunt. Malzone in at third, Wirtz in at first, the pitch to Pasquale. Pasquale squares the bunt. Pop it up. Pop it up. Oh, it's a good bunt. Beautiful bunt by Pasquale. Brewer fields it. Goes to first. Runnels covering the bag on the wheel pillay. One down. Huge insurance running. Consolo at second. Gardner at the plate. Do we want to... Oh, we've only given up one hit. The pitch from Brewer. That ball is sent out to right field. Come on. Oh, it gets past Keo. It's a double. Oh, Keo could not make the play. 2 nothing Washington. Allenson coming to the plate. Killebrew on deck. Oh, that's a killer. From throwing a no-hitter with two outs in the bottom of the fifth, or one out in the bottom of the fifth, gives up the homer to Dobek. Now the double knocks in a second run by Gardner. 2 nothing Washington Senators. That's it for Brewer. Oh, no, Fornellis is tired. We used him. I forgot. We're going to Sturdivant. Here comes Sturdivant. Tom Sturdivant to pitch to Bob Allenson. Come on, Tommy. Oh, here's an error. Oh, God. Ball hit the mal zone. We need a 14 or lower. Nope. Error. Second error on the Red Sox infield on the left side. Budden and Malzone have both made errors. Should have been an out. The dangerous Harmon Killebrew at the plate will play for two. Sturdivant takes a deep breath. He's ready. Pitch homeward bound to Killebrew. That's a 14. Singles to center. 3 nothing Senators. Red Sox pitching has pooped themselves thanks to the awful 
infield defense on the left side with Budin and Malzone. Though uh, Budin's error didn't hurt us. D. Scott Howard's joined us here at Griffith Stadium. Hope all is well to the Goat Whisperer. 3 0 Washington. Sturdivant looking for the double play ball off the bat of Jim Lemon. Lemon, a very dangerous batter. That's a 17. Fly ball to center. Geiger to his left makes the catch. Two away. Two outs, two on for Bacure, the first baseman. Sturdivant deals quickly to Julio. Fly ball, center field. Geiger on the move to the right makes the catch. Side retired. But the Senators score two more, one unearned. 3 0 Washington, top of the seventh for the Red Sox. It will be Malzone who made a very costly error at third. Keo booting. The pitch to Big Frank, 0 for 2. Frank, come on, Big Frank. Make up, come on, Big Frank. 1 2 3, we're on the board. Malzone sends that ball deep to left center. It is gone. Boom goes the ball. Frank Malzone touches them all. That's number seven on the year for Frank. That was a big boom from the boomstick of Malzone. To the moon, Alice. To the moon with that bippity boppity boom. So the Red Sox trail by two. Here's Marty Keo. Keo has been on base twice. He's singled and walked. The pitch to Keo. Pasquale looking to jam him. Keo. He's going to send it out to right field. Allenson, very good range. Can he make the catch? We need a 5-6, five, 5-6. Six, five, six. Yes! Yes! Allenson trapped the ball. He went into a dive. That's a single. Tying run comes to the plate in Don Budden. Sullivan on deck will pinch hit for him. Sturdivant in the hole. We're going to play hit and run with Budden. The pitch. There goes Keo. Hit and run. Ground ball. First base. The only play for Julio Bicure is to take it to the bag himself. Keo in scoring position. We pinch hit for Sullivan. They're going to walk him. But would they put the tying run on? I'm going to do something unorthodox. I'm going to do something unorthodox. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to pinch it for Sullivan. Uh, I want to see the pitchers because Fornellis has been awesome. And he actually did bat 400. Because Sally's a good hitting pitcher too. He batted 273. So we're going to bring in Mike Fornellis to pinch hit. The pitcher. Mike Fornellis will pinch hit with Keo at second. Pasquale to Fornellis. Sends it out to left. Lemon doesn't have great range. Come on, drop in. Drop in. Do not roll a one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ugh. Lemon to his left makes a diving catch. Tagging going second to third is Keo. Oh, we made the proper move. We had a two through six chance of a single we rolled a freaking one. A freaking one. Can you say freaking one on the radio? I just did. Clinton Parks, how you doing, my friend? Oh. Wow. That's a killer there. We made the move. Looked like it was going to work for us. Now we have to take out Sturdivant. He actually only... He, Jesus, he has seven more... But we got to knock this run in. We have to knock this run in. I mean, we, we've we had success with him. He's batting 333 with two ribbies, but the odds are he's not getting a hit here. Thompson has some popping at bat. Thompson to pinch hit. Thompson has six home runs on the year. He has one more than he actually had in real life. D. Scott Howard says, 
What are the odds? Jim L. Freaking one. That's what I said. Come on, Bobby Thompson. T-H-O-M-S-O-N. Pascual to Bobby Thompson. Yes! Singles to left. Keo trots in. 3-2. We're only down one. That brings up Pete Reynolds. The pitch to Reynolds. Base hit to left. Here come the Red Sox. All right, baby. Ooh, oh, no, 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 no. Stay away from the 6'10". Stay away from the 6'10". Okay, we hold. Whew. Don't want to be thrown out at third. Gary Geiger, the Geiger counter, he's due. Geiger's due. He's one for three. A single, a ground out, a strikeout. Thompson at second. Slow a foot. Reynolds at first. Thompson... The tying run, Reynolds the go-ahead run. Pasquale to Gary Geiger. Geiger will walk. We get to Ted Williams. Yes, here comes Teddy Ballgame. Oh, Ted Williams wants revenge. Base, oh, wild pitch. We'll take a wild pitch. Possible wild pitch. Pitcher rating. We need a 5-6. Four. Oh, you son of a gun. Good job by Narragon blocking the ball. Bases juiced with Bostonians. Ted Williams at the plate. Williams is one for three. A single, a fly out to left, a ground ball to first. Big moment here. Williams. Digs in the left-hander's batter's box. No place to put Teddy Ballgame. Pasquale to Ted Williams. Williams. Ballpark effect. Can he tie this game? We need the Miracle 6. No. He got under it. That's a fly ball to center. Doback goes back. Makes the catch. The Red Sox leave him stranded. Base is juiced. Red Sox get two. We don't get the lucky roll, though. And Williams, again, shakes his head, none too happy with himself. We go to the bottom of the seventh, 3-2. But now we've used our best reliever. We could bring in a tired Fornellis. He did pinch hit. We need a catcher. That's easy. We only have one catcher. Okay. So let's go here. Um, Fornellis is tired. I wonder if we can squeak through one inning with him. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. So we have to... See, I hate that because I want to use Fernellis and I don't have the pitching option here. All right, well, let's get our catcher in the game. Let's get our catcher in the game. Edge fielding. Don Guile. Sullivan, they're going to start. We got a double header. Oh, I hate double headers. Two in a row. That's going to kill my that's going to kill my pitching staff, which sucks. He stinks. He stinks. Oh boy, we're in trouble. Mambo Kett's tired. And he's pitching two days in the double header. Well, you know what? Let's do, let's do, um, I'd like to keep Fernellis in here. All right, let's do this. We're going to go, uh, we're going to roll the dice, as they say. going to roll the dice. We're going to put in Guile, here he's gonna catch 
I want to make him a pitcher. It's not going to let me. It, I should be allowed to make him our pitcher. Oh, okay. I know what we have to do. I know what we have to do. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Let's go here. It's still not going to get me. We let him hit. He should be... We should be able to use him as a pitcher. All right. Well, it's not going to let me do that. Well, that sucks. Go back here. Uh, Guile here. He's going to be the catcher. Uh, I, I was going to bring in a tired Fernellis. Okay, so... Hellman. Do I, I mean, they both suck. Pick our poison. Let's go Ike Delock. Ike Delock. So Ike Delock comes in the game. It's 3 2, bottom of the seventh. Steve Tate, how you doing, my friend? Again, check out Steve Tate on Digital Dice. And again, check out his wonderful uh, files he's made for the Action PC baseball, which is another great game. Dave Cook games are wonderful. Highly recommend them. Uh, Steve's downloaded the demo. It's a fun game. It's a really fun game. Aesthetically pleasing. All right, we're coming with Delac. He's going to face six, seven, eight, possibly nine. So it's Dobek, Narragon, and Consolo. Delac to Dan Dobek, who homered in his last at bat to break up the no hitter. Oh, you son of a gun. I hate Ike Delac. Stay away from the 5-6. Single. Oh, boy. That, we had to pinch hit for Sturdivant. But that, that proved costly because the rest of the pitchers suck out of the bullpen. Sturdivant and Fernellis, pretty good. Hal Narragon. We need a double play ball. Delock to Narragon. He's going to bunt. We'll take the out. Oh, we'll take. Come on. Pop out. Pop out. Pop out. Pop out. Ugh. Oh. Sacrifice plus an error. And we make our third error in the infield. Vic Wirtz bobbles the ball. We should have had an out there. That brings up the shortstop, Consolo. I think he'll be bunting again. Yep. We need a fielder's choice. Yes! This time, Vic Wirtz picks it up, fires to Malzone. They get the force at third. All right, Vicky baby. Two outs, two on, three, two Senators. Pasquale. I think they'll pinch hit for him. No, he's going to he's gonna put a bunt down. Fielder's choice. He gets the sack, but there's two outs now. Wirtz fields it, shuffles it to Delac. Actually, Delac fields it, tosses to Wirtz, excuse me. Nar Narragon advances to third, Consolo to second. Top of the order, Billy Gardner. Oh, God. Gardner doubled in a run his last time up. He's one for three. Two ground outs prior to the run producing single. Three, two tense moments here. Guile goes to the mound to speak to Delac. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh. Red Sox. Surprise team in 1960 in the American League. The pitch to Billy Gardner. Struck him out. Yes! Ike the lock. Digs deep. All right, baby. Top of the eighth. 3 2 Washington. Red Sox will send Wirtz. Malzone Keo. If anyone gets on. Budden. Woo, what a game. Come on, Vic. Pasquale to Vic Wirtz. Rare play. Please don't be a dribbler to the mound. Okay, we want four, five, six. Ball hit left side. Consolo chasing after it. Near the stands. 
And he makes a fabulous catch banging into the wall. The side wall. What a play by Billy Consolo. One down. So a dangerous bat goes back to the bench for Boston. Frank Malzone homered in his last plate appearance. Come on, Big Frank. Malzone will chop it to Consolo. Consolo backhands, fires to Bacure at first, two away. That brings up Marty Keel. The pitch to Keel. Marty lines it right at Consolo. The side is retired. Ooh. Bears Den 007. I hear you, Al. The 1975 Cubs bullpen is led by Oscar Zamora. And it is over a 5 ERA in Strat. That's horrible. Oh my. Again, bullpen guys will might will might have a higher ERA because if they give up a run here or there or have a bad game or two. But the Reds, I mean, when we took out Sturdivant, we rolled the dice to get runs in that inning. We got two. We needed more. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Can Delac put up another goose egg? He's facing tough batters. Allenson, Killebrood, Lemon. The pitch to Bob Allenson. That ball is hit out to Geiger. Possible double. And it is. Geiger can't make the play because his defense is equal to that double. We're going to walk Killebrew. Set up a double play ball. And we'll face Lemon. The pitch to Lemon. Flies to center. Allenson bluffs, but doesn't go from second. One out, two on. Killebrew at first. Allenson at second. Julio Bicure at the plate. Bicure only batting. 200 with three ribbies. No home run. 0 for 3 today. Delac looks in at Guile. The pitch to Bicure. That's a fly ball to Geiger in center. Makes the catch. Two down. Dobek has killed us. He's homered and singled. Got to keep it a one-run game here. Borland starting. Well, again, I can make my changes here. Um, we can pitch Borland the second game and Sullivan the first game. We're bringing in Borland. I don't care. Lefty-lefty matchup. And we got the out. Fly ball, shallow left. Borland does his job. Williams squeezes it. We go to the top of the ninth. Red Sox need one to tie, two to go ahead. For the Senators, Batty will come in at catcher. Green goes to left. Val, De... Val, oh boy. Val de Velso will go to short. So defensive changes. Made by the Senators as they cling to a one-run lead here in the top of the ninth. Budden, Guile, Borland. Obviously, there'll be a pinch hitter for Borland. We can't pinch hit for Guile. We have no other catchers. So this is a big at-bat for Budden. We could go to Pumpsy Green here. Let's see. Again, he's hitting 243. In real life, he hit 245. That's pretty much dead on. Green was not much better, to be honest with you. Pumpsy Green batted 242, three home runs. Budden has more pop. We'll stick with Don Budden. The pitch to Budden from Pasquale. Oh, wow. They're going to make another defensive move. They're going to take Dobek out of the game. I wish they took him out earlier. Wince... Wizenet is coming into play center field. That ball's hit the third. And it's out number one. Nice play by Killebrew. Red Sox down to their final two outs. We might as well pinch it for Guile. And then we'll figure out the catching situation. Which would be god awful. We're going to go with Rapulski to pinch it for Guile. The pitch to Rip Rapulski. We need him to rip one. A two-hopper to Gardner. Gardner flips the first two away. 
That brings up Tom Bordland. Obviously, we're not going to hit the Bordland hit. We're going to go with Jerry Casale. Good hitting pitcher. The pitch to Casale. Keep hope alive. That's a 20. That's going to be a ground out. Oh, Casale running hard. 1-6. He's out, and the ball game is over. The ball game is over. The Red Sox fall 3-2 to two in a tremendous effort here in Washington. Our little win streak is gone. That was a fun game, folks. Fun game. Camilio Pasqual now 2-4. Two Brewer 2-2. Two two. Camilio, player of the game. Errors killed us. We gave up an unearned run, and that cost us the game. It was on the Malzone error. Let's go box score. Um, Williams now batting 291. Williams came to the plate with the bases juiced. And he flew out to center. That was a heartbreaker. Let's just look at the pitching real quick. We only gave up two earned runs. The error by Malzone cost us the game. We got good, we got good pitching. We, we did get good pitching. Our bullpen... Went Sturdivant, Delock, Bordland. Our bullpen gave up no runs. And Brewer, tough luck loser. Five and a third innings, only two earned, two earned runs. He had a no-hitter until Dobek hit a homer off of him in the fifth. Pasquale goes the full nine. Striking out five, walking two. He gave up a homer to Malzone. Red Sox fall. By one, three to two. We're now fourteen and sixteen. The Senators thirteen and nineteen. Sports Time Machines joined us. Happy New Year to our good friend Mike. Oh, that's a killer. So let's exit here, and uh, let's quick play these games. Auto play the day. Yankees trying to get back to five hundred. They beat Baltimore three nothing. Dittmar gets the win. Hoyt Wilhelm takes the loss for Baltimore. The White Sox were in first place, crushed the Kansas City Athletics 12 to 4. They're now 23 and 11. Kansas City a game above 500 at 18 and 17. The Dodgers defeat the Cubs and Wrigley 4 to 3. The Dodgers 25 and 12 to the joy of D Scott Howard. They're in first place. We'll show you the standings in a moment. In 10 innings, the Braves defeat the Cincinnati Reds 5-4. San Francisco falls in St. Louis to the Cardinals 9-4. San Francisco right on the tail of the Dodgers, both 25 and 12. Who do we have? I think we still have the Senators. No, we don't. We have an off day. And then, who do we play? An, oh, a doubleheader against the Orioles. All right. Okay. So let's quick play this game. Let's make sure no Red Sox games. And auto play of the day. Kansas City defeats Chicago 4-3. Detroit's having a whole... Uh, well, actually, they're not bad. But Cleveland, 3-1 over Detroit. Dodgers fall to the Cubs, 6-0. Pirates bash. The Pirates right up there. They're 25-13 now. San Francisco won. So they're in first place, I believe. They went 7-4 over St. Louis. The Yankees, in a tight one, in the Bronx, defeat... The Senators 3-2. to two. Let's go to the standings. This has been a fun, fun race. You can see San Francisco, a game up on the Dodgers and the Pirates. Cincinnati 7 back. Milwaukee 10.5. Cubs 11.5. Phillies 12.5 along with St. Louis 12.5. In the American League, the White Sox 3 up. Above the Cleveland Indians. Kansas City Athletics, four and a half back. New York and Boston, six and a half back. New York starting to make a run here, it looks like. As the Yankees have won four in a row. 
Baltimore, seven back. Detroit, seven and a half. Washington, nine. The Cubs beat Sandy. Oh, let's go back and look. I didn't even look. I love Sandy. Let's go back to the schedule. They did beat Koufax, struggling at three and four. And they hit him pretty good. Let's check the box score out. Oh, no. Left armor God only went four and a third innings, giving up five runs for them earned. Good eye there, Bears Den 007. So that is it. Our next game, we got a doubleheader. I hate doubleheaders. But everyone should be resting the bullpen. So here's the way I'll play the doubleheader, just an FYI. If I'm, like, say the first game, if they're close, I use both Fernellis and Sturdivant to try to win the game, and then I pray in game two. <laughs> I've learned to bring in, I, I learned to bring in the bullpen around the fifth inning. I use Fernellis and Sturdivant. Can't do it every game, but when you can win, that's what you have to do with this team because they're bad. We're only two games under 514 and 16. So I'd like to thank Bears Den 007, Sports Time Machine. Check out his wonderful channel. D. Scott Howard, The Goat Whisperer, David Selinski, Bernard Strom, Steve Tate, Jim L., King Tuan Gaming. Check out his channel. Uncle Dave Gardner. Check out the new Digital Dice with Uncle Ron and Steve Tate. Talking about Action PC, uh, the wonderful files he has made for Action PC Baseball, and much, much more. Smelly Wrestling Geek, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you enjoyed the stream, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed and you want to, please do so. If you do subscribe, hit the bell for notification when we go live. Check out all the other wonderful content creators in our community. We named a few here, and there's many others, such as Beatles Eternally, uh, Baseball Demos, ID Gesture, and many, many more. Stay safe. Be smart. Treat people that are going to be treated. Happy New Year to one and all. God bless. I love you all. Greatly appreciate your time. See you very soon.